Welcome to Preeminent Test Prep. Today I have an SAT math tip and trick that I want to share with you that deals with determining the number of solutions in a system of equations. So if you look at question 14, I'm going to use question 14 to illustrate this tip and trick. So if we look at this, we obviously have two different equations, right? We have y equals x squared plus 3x minus 7. We have y equals or y minus 5x plus 8 equals 0. So we're asked how many solutions there are to the system of equations above. So in order to solve for that, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to set this bottom equation, which I'm going to star right here, of y minus 5x plus 8. I want to get what y equals so that I can substitute in for y in this top equation in order to get one equation. So I'm going to go ahead and add 5x and subtract 8 from each side here. So add 5x and subtract 8. So now I have y equals 5x minus 8. Okay, so I can go ahead and plug that in up top, 5x minus 8. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add 8 to each side, because I want to set it equal to 0, so I'll add 8 to each side, and I will subtract 5x from each side. Okay, so I'll subtract 5x from each side as well. So 3x minus 5x will give me negative 2x, so I'm left with x squared minus 2x, and then negative 7 plus 8 will leave me with plus 1, so that right there will equal y. Okay, so at this point, what I'm going to do now that I have this equation set up, and obviously that's going to equal 0, okay, since I got rid of all my terms on that, on that right side there, so that's going to equal 0. So at the, at what I can do at this point is I can use b squared minus 4ac to determine the number of solutions. Okay, so in determining the number of solutions, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then there are going to be two real solutions. So then there will be two real solutions solutions. Now if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, b squared minus 4ac, let's say that it's equal to 0. In that case there will be one real solution. Now what if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0? Well if it's less than 0 then there are no real solutions. Okay so that would be zero real solutions. Okay, so let's go ahead and determine that using our equation up here. So we know our a value is going to be our coefficient in front of our x squared term. We know our b value is going to be our coefficient in front of our x term. So in that case, our b is negative 2. And we know our c term is going to be 1 here because our c term is whatever uh, our term is here where I'm underlining. So that'll be 1. Okay, so we know a is equal to 1. We know b is equal to negative 2. And we know our c is equal to 1. So at that point, we go ahead and plug it into b squared minus 4ac. So b is negative 2. So we take negative 2, we square that. We subtract 4 times a, which is 1, and then times c, which is also 1. Okay, We know that negative 2 squared is going to give us 4, and then we have 4 minus 4 times 1 times 1, which is 4 minus 4, which will leave us at 0. Okay, So since b squared minus 4ac um, is equal to 0, we know then that there is going to be exactly one solution, so our answer there will be c. So hopefully this video was helpful. This is a really good, um, important thing to know for the SAT math section, because if you don't know that, then you got to go through and do a bunch of other steps. So knowing this is definitely crucial to the SAT math section, in my opinion. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. I also have a 90-day SAT prep course available on my channel. You can find that as well under my playlist section. As always, make sure to have a great day, and thank you for watching.